Okay, I am here with the cheerleading coach, Melissa Barnett. Looks like you guys got quite a crowd going on we here. We do. Today. This is our senior night. It's our last home game. Um, so we typically have a big crowd anyway, but obviously with it being the last home game, there's more people here. Lots of fans, um, several of your unions tonight, um, and pretty excited because it's one of our crosstown rivals. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, speaking of the senior night, we were up at the cafeteria earlier, the library earlier. Yeah. And a lot of emotions spilling out for you. You were with, with some of these girls for a while, kind of going oh, through yeah. that whole I typically dealer. don't have a problem speaking in front of people, but when it comes to them, I've been with them for four years. Um, they were my first JV squad, um, and that was the first year we decided to have a JV. So seeing them kind of really create a foundation for our whole program, and then now that they're seniors, um, just kind of the whole thing kind of come full circle has been incredible. Um, they're a sweet group, and they've taken care of me. Um, they work very hard. So so just senior night, um, I try to try not to get too emotional because we still have wrestling season. So this is really the halfway point. Um, so really kind of drive home like it's going to go faster than you ever could have imagined. Because um, right. I know that now, but then I didn't know it. So I always say like, you've never been my age, but I've been your age. So. <laughs> of course. Now bra brag on your girls a little bit. Oh I mean, you, got, you were telling me earlier you have a really, really unique team. We do. team, really just really yeah, good. I, I'm telling you. I, GPA right now is like a 3.75. Um, they're in honors classes. They're involved in a lot of clubs and civic groups. Um, and then we actually do civic stuff with our with our squad also. Um, the past couple of years, they've opted not to do awards banquets um, and instead take on um, Adopt a Family for Christmas. And we've done um, charity 5Ks, um, just a lot of things that, that makes them more of a well-rounded person. Um, I think cheerleading is important, and we have a really good time with what we do, but, but just really realizing there's so much more out there. Um, this group in particular, um, just the way they incorporate new people to the squad. Um, when we have a girl, you know, come in or parents, they always say, my daughter never felt left out. Um, you know, they were nervous being on varsity for the first time and, and we just really make sure that we take them in. And because once you make the team, you're on the team. Um, we do a lot of stuff with our freshman team now uh, to really incorporate them because we don't want to wait until you're a senior to celebrate you. We want to start when you're a freshman. Um, and so I've just seen amazing things from them. So they're probably yeah. as upset that they're fumbling as the people on the sidelines. Um, but just a really smart group, a really involved group, um, and sweet. Uh, you know, sometimes in cheerleading when you're dealing with a bunch of teenage girls, you know, people say, oh my gosh, you coach cheerleading. I'm like, of course I do. And if you've met this group, you know, you would know why. That's awesome. Now, last thing, your guys' student section is crazy. I mean, yeah. what, a, what a great, you guys, how does it tie in with the whole cheerleading? Well, I'll here? tell you, when I started working here, started coaching six years ago. Um, I'm an alumni of the school uh, and then my other, both of the other coaches are alumni um, and when we got here we were like where did the school spirit go kind of. So we really have put everything we have into encouraging our girls to participate and get their friends to participate because we say we can have a pep rally and you guys can get out there and do your thing but if 1,400 other people aren't doing it so really kind of using that is if we're having a dress up day you go find five people that want to dress up. you're the one winning, 
um, because that's the only way to keep everybody, you know, as excited. Uh, Two years ago, we went five and five. So when we started last year's season, we were like, oh man, and then we went to state finals. So, and I think obviously Coach Crawford and his guys have done a ton. I think when you have the school supporting you, it's it's huge. So we have a lot of traditions here, and I think that that point leads to all that, all that behind me. (laughs) Listen, you guys are awesome. Really appreciate it. Thank you.